hello guys good evening welcome to my channel today we're gonna be cooking some butternut squash curry butternut squash with sh with shrimp so to get started here are our ingredients i have a pot on the stove with about two tablespoons of olive oil already heating up so we're gonna get the cooking process started over here to the left I have all my ingredients. This is about two medium sized butternut squash that has been cut and cut into cubes. It has been washed and it's ready to go. We're gonna be using some salt. We're gonna be using about one, tea, one teaspoon of salt, give or take. You can adjust to your liking. I'm going to use some black pepper, about half a teaspoon of black pepper. I have some ginger over here. You can tell by the quantity. I have some dark brown, brown sugar. We go, we're going to be using about one teaspoon of brown sugar. I have some curry powder over here. We're going to be using about two tablespoons of curry powder. Here I have some of the seasoning. We have about three, about two, sorry. We have about two medium sized onions diced. Well, fairly diced. We have about some garlic over here. This is about six to seven cubes of garlic. This is because I'm cooking all this butternut squash over here now we'll get to that in a second i have some fine thyme some sprinkle of some thyme fine thyme over here i have some hot peppers some scallion or shallot and over here we have the shrimp now i bought this shrimp it it was already cleaned and deveined and partially cooked so we're not going to be cooking it first we're going to be cook, putting this in later i already seasoned it i washed it off we have some lime juice in there we have about a half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of black pepper and one tablespoon of curry powder in here already also half a teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder to season the shrimp. I'm also going to be putting some of that garlic over here to season the shrimp before it actually gets cooked. Now back over here to the butternut squash. I know this looks like a lot but you can adjust the ingredients to how much you're making because after when it's finished cooking it's actually going to be the quantity will be reduced because of the cooking process so pre-cooked it looks like a lot but we'll see when it's finished cooking all right guys so let's get started all right guys now to get started we're gonna go ahead with our ingredients we're gonna start with our onion and your garlic Let's go ahead and have that marinate for a little. And we have the heat on medium here, medium heat. Next, you're gonna go ahead and go on in with your garlic, with your ginger, sorry about that. Just give it a nice little stir. Let it marinate a little, let the onions cook, and then we'll check back again. All right, guys, it's been about a minute or so. We're gonna go ahead and Put, it, put the rest of our ingredients in here, the scallions, the pepper, as well as the thyme. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, it's been about two minutes. The onions, garlic, pepper, scallion, everything has been sauteed. We're now gonna go on in with our brown sugar. Now you're going to add about half a teaspoon of black pepper. And about one teaspoon of salt. Make sure everything is properly mixed. And now for the star of the day, we're going to add about two tablespoons of curry powder. Then you can go ahead and start adding your butternut squash, guys. Remember I said I am using two medium-sized butternut squash, but that's only because this will, the quantity will be reduced by through the process of cooking, and also sometimes you don't want to be in the kitchen every day, so this is going to last a couple days. And you don't want to add any liquid to this because the butternut squash is still spraying water. Give it a nice little stir and then we're going to put the cover on it and allow it to steam. And then we'll check it back in about two minutes to make sure everything is going right. And that the, and that the ingredients on the bottom isn't burning. Alright guys. So we're going to put the cover on it. Remember we're on medium heat. And we're just going to let that steam a little and we'll check it back in about three to five minutes all right guys so it's been about five minutes you want to go back in to check and give it another a nice stir smells lovely and what you're looking for guys is a kind of mushy consistency You'll, you'll see the end product by just giving our heads up a nice mushy consistency and remember this springs its own this springs its own water so no need to add any kind of liquid to it so here we're just giving it a nice stir and now we're gonna cover it back and check it back in about 15 minutes all right guys Check it back in about 15 minutes. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes. This is our next check in to see how our product is coming along. A delicious meal. Looking lovely, smelling great.
some of it is starting to come together some of it still needs work I'm gonna cover it back down and we're gonna check back in another 15 minutes okay guys all right guys it has been another 30 minutes I mean 15 minutes same so it's in total it's been about 35 minutes since I put the butternut squash into the pan coming together really nicely as you can tell like I said there's gonna be a lot of water already being sprung from the butternut scrap it's coming together nicely but you do want it to be like a mushy consistency there's still kind of some chunks in here I'm gonna reduce the heat a little to mid medium to low and this is also where I'm gonna taste to see if you need any more sugar maybe it's missing some more curry or whatever so this is where you do your taste test guys and that actually tastes good good guys um a little spicy but i do like spicy so it's okay for me I'm also going to go ahead now and add my shrimp and have it cook until finished guys. So right now it's been about 35 minutes since I added the butternut squash as I said. So I'm going to go ahead now and add the shrimp. We're going to reduce the heat to about almost low. Go ahead and add your shrimp and have it cook. Keep in mind we haven't had cooked this shrimp as yet because it came pre-cooked in the package. It's also been seasoned with some extra curry flavor, salt, black, black pepper and such. Go ahead and mix that in there. I'll see about another 10 to 15 minutes and this shall be done. Looking good, tasting good, smelling good. Look at that guys. Coming together nicely here. I'm gonna cover this back down. The heat is on low and have it cook for about 10 to 15 more minutes guys. All right guys, it's been about 15 minutes. So in total, it's been about 45 minutes cook time with, from the time that I put the butternut squash into the pot. So this is gonna be our last time checking it. You, you see all that liquid in there? That's why you don't want to add any additional liquid. For me, I am gonna stop it right here with even though there are so many so much liquid in it if you want to simmer it down a little more you can and yeah guys i'll show you a picture of the final product once it's on a plate for me i'm gonna eat in this with some white rice which i have right over here right beside the, the butternut squash I know a lot of people might use um, a lot of people might use some 
roti or bake or whatever however you choose to eat it for me that's butternut squash so yeah guys thank you for watching this is a really good recipe i hope you try it and yeah i'll see you guys in another video thank you for watching